This is a fixture plate workrest and a tilting stand for my 2x48 grinder that I laser cut and welded. The workrest lets me grind angles super quickly and accurately, and paired with my tilting stand, I can grind profiles and sand longer edges. And I'm super excited to have my new 2x48 belt grinder from Alex Steel Co. The thing is a beast. One and a half horsepower, variable speed, wired for 110 volts, and being a 48 inch belt, it's pretty compact. I waited way too long to get a proper grinder. I first got to use this grinder last year when I got to hang out with Alec in his Montana shop, and I knew then that I had to have one. Even though I'm not a knife maker, I find it very useful for general metal fab. This machine is now at the center of my workflow, and I highly recommend it. Now, like most of my projects, this one started in CAD, where I figured out the kinematics of the tilting stand and the whole pattern for the work rest. And once I designed it and got the parts laser cut, we're back in hardware mode. I need to bend up this part. Send Cut Send offers a press break service, but I decided to try using some relief cuts. I totally guessed at the dimensions, I just made them as wide as the material thickness. And I'm gonna try just beating it over in the vise. For this next part, instead of bending it, I decided to weld it together using tabs and slots. I didn't want to have to figure out K-factors and bend radiuses. I figured this would be my easiest option. And I got pretty familiar with tab and slot joinery after building my laser cut foot vise. I clamped it up to the actual tube. It's gonna pivot around with a 5,000th shim. Alex sells a tilting stand just like the one I made, but it happens to be out of stock at the moment, so I figured why not try my hand at making one. If you don't want to make this stand with laser cutting and you don't have a way to cut this curved slot, you could just drill two holes and use a ball lock pin. And now to test the tilt stand for the first time. All right. Oh. It appears I've made a critical oversight. My intention was to make the tilting stand as short as possible so I could keep it at a nice working height, um, but it needs to be taller. So I did some thinking and I thought through a couple options. The first one being I could notch out this leg back here to clearance the motor, but then the motor would still hit the table. The other option was I bend that leg out so the motor clears it, but then the motor still hits the table. But then I thought I could shim underneath the legs to lift the whole thing up. What I think I'm gonna do is cut the legs off, add a section to the post, raise it up the inch and a half it needs, and then re-weld the legs back on. I think it's the best option without taking any shortcuts. The motor's still hitting this back leg, so I'm gonna bend it out of the way. Let's try this again. Okay, take two. No! Now that my workbench looks like Swiss cheese and I got the tilting stand mounted, I can move on to working on the fixture plate work rests. And both the work rests and the tilting stand were laser cut by Send Cut Send, who's this video's sponsor. They're an online laser cutting service that offers a wide range of materials. Metals, composites, wood, and now plastics. They even offer bending. I've used them for many of my past projects, and what's really cool is if you can make a simple 2D drawing in something like Illustrator, you upload your drawing, choose a material, and a physical part shows up just a few days later. And one of my favorite things ever is getting a package from Send Cut Send and after spending hours on the computer designing, seeing the parts fit perfectly together. Thank you to Send Cut Send for sponsoring this video. I wanted to try this project ever since I first saw my friend Jason add a fixture plate to his custom belt grinder. I think it's a super clever idea and so I'm robbing it for my own project. I even bought one of his beautiful cast iron fixture plates that he sells, but I think it's a bit overkill for the 2x48. For this work rest that'll be used when the grinder is horizontal, I added a small piece of tube to give it the right offset. 
This machine uses 30 millimeter or inch and 3 16 tooling arms. Now one inch square tube fits just fine in the machine. And I originally was gonna use that because it's what I have on hand, but I figured I could weld some 3 16 plate to the tooling arm to make it fit just right. These accessories for my grinder are gonna be super useful, and if you wanna see more videos on tools that I've made for my shop, you can click right here, and I'll see you on the next one.